I know it's been a little bit. We're hoping to keep everyone updated on what we've been working on. We have a number of projects, so we're going to be getting some more videos out there. I'm going to take you guys off and I'm going to show you um, our, our yurt that we set up. We did this about a month and a half ago. We got our trails all cleared up. It's shading in here real nice. Beautiful weather today. It was a cold winter here. I guess not compared to Wisconsin where we came from, but all the locals around here said uh, this was a very unusual weather for Oklahoma. They got hit with a couple ice storms, which it seems like Wisconsin's always getting hit with ice storms. Anyways, we're almost here. So we decided to put our yurt far back in the woods, further back from our house. So we, for the base of the yurt, we decided to use uh, recycled tires. We found a tire shop nearby that the, obviously they pay a fee to dispose of. So we said we'd take as many as they let us have and he said take them all. So we used about 60 tires for the base here. I'll turn the camera around to give you guys a better view. So here is our yurt. We ordered this thing on Amazon. This is one of the, um, it's a 13 foot, I believe. So we used the tires for the base and we filled them all with sand, which took about two to three days of really going on it to fill them all with sand. So we got this left over from the sand. We were thinking about doing a little pond in here. Right now the kids just play in here. We planted some bamboo here. It's starting to come green again. I got my reclaimed uh, wicker chairs that I found on the side of the road. Bought a couple rolls of white duct tape. Got all the wicker fragments off. Got a sandbox here for the kids. Puts it, put up some solar lights leading in here. I actually put a small solar system in the yurt since we're so far from the house. Can't really run off of our solar system. So I just put one 12 volt battery in there and with one 120 watt panel and a small 350 watt inverter in here. I'll show you guys what the inside looks like. Now, this isn't like a... It's got a screen here. Yeah, it's got this. It's made out of really good quality material. It's a yurt canvas tent. Nope, oh, guess we got disconnected. Let's get this around here and I'll show you the inside of the yurt. Kids were playing in it today, so it got a little messy. But normally, we will have this wood stove, this camp tent wood stove, set up on our tile here. But since it's summer now, or spring, and we're not going to be out here very much, we took the stove down for now. We got our little uh, water pump for getting water out here. We put a nice little bench in here. We have a bed that's a mess. We got our chair, and it's got nice little vents up here, and it's got all these windows that zip open, and they're all screened windows. I think it's got five or six in here, and I found this mirror to add it to give it a little space in here, and behind the mirror is where I got the whole solar system set up in. I have my charge controller, my inverter, and my battery, which is enough to power all of our lights in here. Got our carbon monoxide detector and smoke detector in here. And yeah, this is one of the projects we've been up to here. Let's take you guys back out. And this thing is tied down with its anchor, anchor points and it is held up very well. We've had, like I mentioned, those ice storms that had hit us. And the thing has not went down at all. It's been super sturdy. I haven't had to adjust it at all. And it's been 
completely water resistant. So I was super impressed for this, for the quality of it, for the price.